first gameplay series. <laughs> Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bay. Huh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. The f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail.
A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. Bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Reaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. is number two behind Australia in terms of shark attacks on boats.
While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. Oh, God! inscrutability. Sometimes it will flee from an unarmed swimmer. Other times it will launch itself full bore at a boat. emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark, that shark needs a good work on their nose. nose. Go get him, Chad.
catch me to shock myself. Ho oh, oh, ho! Look at them teeth! Ooh, she gonna make quite a metal piece! Got us some dinner coming, boys! Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me. Hello, <laughs> are your mama in there? Whoa! But well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You maybe want to turn off that camera. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor.
grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
The bull reaffirms her top predator role. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet.
This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for air and debris. Team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making.
From the fiercest shark to the meekest minnow, the food chain ties the destiny of all sea creatures to one another. The shark is hurt. At this point, it needs to focus on self-care, such as meditation or in-home spa treatments.
is a frothing mix of blood and gurry. The overhunting of Fawtix Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. the shark skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey.
for its prey, sharks frequently make unsafe appearances when not in the spot and without cues.
quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
is quite adept at being able to detect prey thousands of yards away. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals.
the shark returns once again to her safe haven. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. A stalking shark is a mysterious ballet governed by unknowable agencies. not be cool, but it can be a guarantor of safety. versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. Close. She's real close. 
house. She gotta be somewhere out here. Should have brought my fish finder. I really should get them polarized lenses. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. It's circling! Air fishy fishy! Another bounty hunt comes to a close. She's close. She's real close. Regular day at Flamingo Joe's. He can say it's a tourist train. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. Life management has never been a priority in Fort Clovis, and so amateur hour begins.
marine predator displays little caution as the situation further escalates. Port Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace.